So I'll tell you the story. So I was the other day going to um, drop off some packages that had to go to um, UPS because I put off everything till the end of the day because they have to be urgent before I go like, oh, I gotta go now, it's gonna close. I looked up to see when it closed and it was at 6.30. This was like two in the afternoon. So I thought, okay, I'm going to um, stop working by 5.30 with what I'm doing right then. So I set a timer. Okay, the point is I, I did stop at six o'clock I thought, okay, six o'clock, it's just like 10 minutes away. Okay, six o'clock, look at me, being responsible, I'm the adult. I'm gonna put the packages in the car, get there and drop them off at the FedEx before it closes. And I walked outside to carry, it. one of the boxes was really big and heavy. So I put it in the car. I turned and saw our bushes, we have big boxwood thingies, and they get really the like long arms on them, sort of. But I could just break off some of them and it would look better. I'm gonna go do that. I went over there to the bush and at that moment, my brain, the only two thoughts that my brain, my working memory held, it threw out the part about, you remember you left the house at six, you gotta be there before 6.30. I can't even explain to you, it feels like an amnesia. It's really one, one part of your consciousness is the consciousness to that one item is gone. It's, it's not in your working memory. But at the time, what you're working with, what it holds in there, it was gone. So I proceeded to break off limbs on this bush for like 10, 15 minutes. And I even was like, I wasn't in a rush. I was just um, breaking off the limbs, just breaking them off. I got the FedEx and the um, break off the branches. The part about the time thing, just completely left my mind. So I gathered them. I even was telling myself, Kristen, slow down. You're, you're trying to be calmer sometimes. You, you need to not rush. There's no fire somewhere. I swear to you, I was thinking that. I'm proud of myself. Like, I'm just breaking these off. This is great. I broke them off and then I thought, oh, I, I better get going. I put them in the trash, I went back in the house, got the other package, got in the car, started driving. That's when I got about half of them, that's when I went, oh, what, what time is it? And it was 6.31. I closed at 6.30, I left the house at six, or I was going to, and I just, it took me a second, I literally, I was driving and I was like, what, what happened? <laughs> and that's when I realized what had happened and I thought, ADHD, it just my executive function just shorted out. It threw out a, one of the things I needed to hold in there. See, I just, it's, um, anyway. <sighs> That's a great example of why we forget things because our, our working memory can only hold so many, um, you know, items for any length of time. And the, the problem is that it'll throw things, it's not like it lets us pick. Which one do you want to remember? That's where the solution comes in, I was going to say is, um, Dr. Russell Barkley, again, I think I mentioned him already. He, he calls it externalizing. And I always say, we gotta have external cues. And that is the way that we can um, deal with it. It doesn't fix it, like there's no cure, like, but it's, um, it's a way of managing it. So if I'd known, like, if you can write it down or whatever thing you use to get it out here, tell somebody to remind you, you know, I had my phone, but I had it go off. <laughs> I turned it off at six, cause I was like, I'm headed there. Or we can externalize the things that we have to remember and tasks and activities. Um, the easier it is for our working memory, our executive function, because we don't have to keep it in our head and think, what's, what's it gonna throw out?